Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Part three in my glow in the dark colors. I am so psyched with how these paintings have come out. I need to do another. So I have here a 12 by 12 canvas. That's about five ounces of paint you'll need for that. I have mixed uh, some phthalo blue and dioxazine purple from the basic line to get my background color. This one I've gone a little bit more purple than blue. So I'm just going to lay down a little bit here. That is my, ooh, I'm drippy. Okay, so the rest of this I will lay down as my base coat. I've been using the same color uh, base coat for my pour as the color that I expect to be falling into the background, which would be the opaque. Generally, when I'm doing a straight pour, I have an opaque that I use for the background, and the other colors are either transparent or semi-transparent. Those are the ones that seem to sell, particularly the ones that have more of a matte finish. And for the most part, when I am using craft paints that say matte finish, they sell. Alrighty, let's put some paint in the cup. Do the green. I'm gonna have to sit this down. Oh dear. Okay. Next is yellow. This place is a madhouse today. Orange. And pink. Okie dokie. Let's make a mess. Just popping bubbles here. Straight pours create a lot of bubbles. Okay, this time I will go in this direction first. Tilt slowly.
bringing the weight back to center before I change direction. Let the weight of your paint push your puddle around. If you do it right, you can actually get corners going. In a straight pour, the more you manipulate the paint, the more cells you will have pop up. Okay, I'm going to leave that be, and I will let that sit for a bit and do its thing, let it percolate. I think more cells might pop up in here. All right, y'all, back in a few. Okay, y'all, here it is. Dark. It definitely darkened up. But you can see that the cells are more matte than the background, which is why this paint worked. But what I need to do is try this on a lighter background and I may get my opal effect. It does still glow in the dark, so there's that, and uh, once it's varnished, and I may actually still varnish them, um, it's subtle, it's not as bright, and there may be some people who don't want neon pink, but they like the subtle look of a thunderstorm at sunset or something. All right, that's it for me.
Uh, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Go to my description box for links to my PayPal tip jar, my Amazon store, which anything that you buy when you enter through the store, I get a small percentage of at no cost to you. Uh, there's links to my website and uh, go make some art on Facebook. Join us there. Post your paintings. We all learn from each other there. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Go make some art.